we heard, and uh, the National Labor Commission is proceeding to court to put an injunction on the strike action, but we've not received any document from the court as we speak now. So we are yet to receive whatever they have from the court of law. And then later, if we receive them, definitely we are going to give it to our legal team to look at it. But we've not received anything yet. So the strike continues on mm, Right. But what have been the level of engagement behind closed doors with you, your association, and your employers? You say what happens to... What I'm asking is the levels of engagement, the kind of engagement that uh, the two of you have been having since the strike began. Oh, we, we've, we've, been, we've been talking, we've been engaging. I wouldn't be able to disclose to you what we have as our arsenals, but definitely if we are summoned to the court of law, we will definitely respond to it. We will respond to it um, the way we are supposed to. So um, we are not afraid. This is not the first time. If National Labor Commission says it is proceeding to court, it should go to court. When they serve us, we serve, they serve us with an injunction, we'll definitely um, accept it wholeheartedly and then do whatever we have to do. And then the battle still continues. Is there an end in sight, sir? We are hoping that there will be an end in sight. There can even be an end in sight today if the, His Excellency the President takes cue from whatever we are saying. And then today, just take pen and paper or whatever. And then write that he has relieved Dr. Nkansa of his position and lawyer Anthony Boatin should also go on retirement and go and rest. And this thing can take just five minutes. And then at the end of the day, everything will be resolved. But it seems government is not giving in. And we are also not giving in. Right. Uh, let me ask you this. Uh, what do you say to those who are of the opinion that you have not seen Dr. Nkansa work at the Ghana Education Service before and give him the benefit of doubt, let him do what he can, and then when you have some substance as to a supposed non-performance on his part, then you can go ahead with your demands? You see, it is not a matter of we have not seen. Let's try. I think in Ghana here, We've known the repercussions of um, submission, and we, we wouldn't like that situation to happen. This is a professional institution guarded by professional etiquette. And the one who is coming in to supervise and to ensure that we follow the professional etiquette should also be a professional. If not, what is he going to supervise? What is he going to correct? What is he going, how is he going to promote me? How is he going to guide me? He himself is not a professional, but he's going to employ a professional, and they only insist that you have to be a professional and licensed before you'll be employed by Ghana Education Service. So he directly becomes a representative of government who is employing. Then you have to upgrade yourself, continuous professional development. But it happens that the one who will be in charge, he himself, is not a professional. Are we joking? So we don't have a personal problem with Dr. Eric in cancer. We have a problem with the process. And it should be corrected.